been having to be for like a week and I'm under cancer care. Um, I don't know, my lower back is running down through my legs. Well, not a good way to start the day. Um, I'm about three miles off the exit that I need to get to um, for my first phase of the day. But I am backed up here on the Scranton. Well, we're not even at the Scranton Expressway. I'm backed up here on 81 South uh, near Scranton, Pennsylvania. And traffic is pretty much at a standstill. So, oh God. I hope this ain't a sign of how the day's gonna go. Well, I made it here, and uh, this is what the people don't see sometimes. <clears throat> um, the behind the scenes. And let me tell you, I'm cold and achy today, so, but I still gotta do this. I got a 15 footer today. I think that's it right there. So, uh, yeah. I gotta get the truck, and uh, I am going for four pallets today. So that's what's on the agenda today. <sighs> All right, let me make sure this is the truck and get on the road and head up there. And I got it's two stops to pick up these four pallets. Okay, I'm over here. It's called Dewey Pile. It's basically a terminal where they transfer pallets so these three pallets this first pickup that I got is came to a terminal here to come to my house which I have a paved driveway and everything they wanted $300 extra and I'm like the hell with that um, I already put enough money out transferring this thing in so uh, yeah as I was saying so I got the truck I got three pallets I need to pick up here and then I'm gonna pick up uh, the other one which is actually right up the street but Boy, you had to go through security and a gate, and a walk, uh, up the guy will come down that ramp, and he'll load them on here, and um, I'll be good to go. So, but uh, yeah, this is a first. Okay, so I wait. Um, man, it's cold. It's supposed to be nice, cup 70. I'm here in Pennsylvania, in case you're new to the channel and watching. If you're new, give me a thumbs up. But um, um, it's about 40, 43 degrees today, so I'm layered up. And um, to do this cost me $709 just to have them shipped. These three pallets, a little backstory, these three pallets came from liquidation.com. They have about eight warehouses roughly across the United States. And to ship from North Carolina to here in Pittston, Pennsylvania, near Wilkes-Barre, Scranton area, uh, it was $709. If they came to my house, it would have been like a uh, thousand, so like 300 bucks more. To get the truck today, and I timed it this way on purpose because I have another truck that I need to go actually about a mile up the street to the Pittston liquidation. Now, follow me. The Pittston.com or, or the liquidation.com Pittston location. Um, so I'm going to pick a pallet up there. And I always say, if you get one pallet, it's not worth renting a U-Ball. But sometimes it won't fit in your truck or your car or your vehicle, whatever you're doing. So this worked out. I got the three um, pallets coming here. And I'll show you guys what I'll be getting then. And then the one pallet to pick up there. So you got that all straight. And um, 709 bucks. Uh, today's truck will cost me probably about 125 so this is big. Uh, with the merchandise and the cost of the shipping in the truck, uh, we got about $4,000 we're spending. Okay, so there's the three pallets. They're light, so I was able to push that back by hand. Um, now I'm up here at the warehouse to pick up the one pallet. And I noticed on my pickup, they never, they usually give me the uh, auction ID number, the transaction number, and they didn't send that in that. So I gave them my name. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be a, uh, trouble but um only only one other guy up here but there's pallets and garbage all over the place so um we'll see it's a brisk cold day there's one other guy over here picking up stuff but um this should be easy pick this up so i'm going to take these actually to where i have a storage unit which is about 10 miles away and i'm going to unload them there because i got it i got to clear out i got some pallets there and since now i have the truck uh we have a rental property close by that we're gonna somebody locally will pick up the pallets so we're gonna drop them and put them there in the back of the rental property instead of keeping them in the storage unit because it's taking up space but 
this is one of the big bets that I have for uh, the holidays and and hopefully um, you know I, I, I make some money and I move this stuff so now I'm just waiting so this guy's got that little I don't want to capture him on film and then gets pissed off so but he's not over there right now but look at he's got they try to fit all that in a trailer sometimes sometimes I'm like oh my god yep, here it comes yep this is a mine there we go yeah to the right these came out of your your um your north carolina location oh, yeah. yeah i don't know i had it, they delivered it to the terminal down the street oh okay yeah they want they don't deliver here okay i'm all loaded that was pretty let me turn the radio off uh that was pretty quick uh all loaded um i was only here like 10 minutes so uh, my pickup was at 1:30. And it's 128, so that's um, perfect on time. And because of the, this won't actually take me that long to unload. I mean, it might take me an hour, and because I'm gonna pull out some empty pallets that are in there that before, um, I had nowhere to go with them. So in a sense, now I gotta, I want to get them out of there because they're taking up space and they're just in the way. Uh, you know, that's the downside is the storage and sometimes sitting on this stuff temporary for a while, but this is a big all in. This is $4,000. So I think I'm going to stop for lunch. I might stop at the Chinese buffet because I like their salad bar and get some fresh chicken and stuff like that. So uh, I'm doing good on time. So um, took some ibuprofen. My back's been bothering me. I don't know if it's the weather. Um, it was 42, 43. Now up here, I just got up here. It said it was around 47, 48 something like that but it's still cold but um just showing you guys a little bit of the journey what it takes to to do this and uh, i'm working by myself so this is uh this is this is some grunt work so all right on my way all right i'm at my destination all that those four pallets gotta go in there ay 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 pat where's room well i got some work to do i gotta take out um some pallets you see there in the middle and uh, gotta make it fit. So I did create a hole. There's actually a hole back in there of stuff that I took out that I sold on whatnot. But um, yeah, it's not gonna be easy, but no choice, have to get it done. So put down the camera and get to work. Grand Storage here in Peckville. Uh, okay, I thought your phone is breaking up a little bit. What store are you outside of? Uh, Grand Storage in Peckville. Do you know what street you're on? Uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's Grand Storage by the uh, in Peckville. Can you spell it? I'm not really hearing what you're saying. G R A N. Grand Storage. My lower back has torn down to my leg.
I just ate something at the Chinese. <laughs> hey, where's that? Well, I screwed this video up. I'm in the ER. Just went in for back x-rays. Um, all of a sudden, I got a sharp pain in my lower tailbone, my back, down my legs. And wasn't able to even get one thing off the truck. So, I had to call for backup. But, uh... I'm comfortable now, they gave me a shot, but uh, this video didn't go the way that I thought it would, so that's it. <laughs>